In this chapter also we will continue with graphics but we will do little more interactive drawing. Now to start with what I want to do is starting from a particular point to another point I would like to draw a line. So I take the same old project we had lot of things in the paint event handler. Let me erase all this or I can just comment it otherwise. And we will do first painting here. Now, what is the requirement? I want to capture the starting point. I want to capture the ending point and I want to draw a line. So for this, what I'll do is first, we'll declare two points, P1 and P2, let us say. P1 is the starting point, P2 is the end point. Now where to initialize this P1 and P2? For this, we'll have to handle mouse events. So I go to events and mouse down and mouse up these two events I have to handle double click come back mouse up now in mouse down we are getting mouse event arcs we will check if e dot button this gives you mouse button now I want to check if e dot button is equal to buttons dot basically left button if e dot mouse buttons basically mouse buttons dot left I don't want to do anything if it is right mouse button only on left mouse button click I would like to write so that if condition I have written now what is that we want to do we want to capture p1 so p1 is equal to e dot location that's the point so we got p1 and where we are going to get p2 in mouse up so if e dot button here also we'll check if is equal to left button then only we will capture p2 e dot location so we captured p1 we captured p2 now write code for painting Here we can write code for painting. E dot graphics. Now once we get graphics, it's all about drawing a line. Joining. Let's say I take red pen for the time being. P1 and P2. So initial points are 0, 0, 0, 0. They are structured, so you don't have to instantiate them separately. So yes, what is the whole logic? We have got mouse down where we are capturing P1. We have mouse up where we are capturing P2. And in paint, we are painting from P1 to P2. Let's run this. Now click move release. Line has not come. Why? actually take it down and bring it up the line will come the same old problem I am actually clicking I am releasing the mouse cursor but I am not doing invalidate now unless I do invalidate the form will not be repainted and unless it is not repainted the paint event handler will not be called and the new lines will new points will not be used for drawing but when I take it out you see that area which is invisible now that area has to be painted in that that partial line whole thing will come so what we should do? Simple. As soon as I say mouse up, I'll immediately write here invalidate. And now run this. Click move release, we got the line. Click move release, we got the line. So what are we doing now? Right now we are getting only one line. The reason we are getting only one line is we have only one set of P1 and P2. We don't have more than one set of P1 and P2. So what if I want to retain all the lines? We have to retain all the lines and we have to draw all the lines every time. 
So the best thing you can do is first write a class. Let's say here itself I'll write a class called as line. And what is line made up of? P1, P2. Line has two points. And then I'll create a list of line. So initially this list is empty and here I'll write code for going through each line in lines collection and then drawing from ln.p1 to ln.p2. So basic skeleton is ready. But where are we adding lines to the lines collection here? This is lines collection. We have to add lines there. So where are we adding line to the lines collection? So we, I believe we are clear. In paint, we are going through each line in the lines collection and from P1 and P2, we are keeping on painting it. Now what we will do to create line is, here I will create one more variable of type line. And let me change this from class to structure. So that I don't have to use new structures or value type. They will automatically get instantiated there. Now, here I'll say in mouse down, I'll say ln is equal to new line. Structures can also be instantiated like class. So I'm creating a new line. And here I'll initialize only ln.p1. Now this being a member variable of a class form, can I use it in mouse up? Here I'll say ln dot p2. So ln is instantiated every time we click on the mouse and every time you release the mouse we are getting p2 Instanti initialized here. p1 is initialized in mouse down, p2 is initialized and this I will now add it to lines. Simple logic. So between mouse down and mouse up, we need a variable. So this variable, I declared it outside here. We can actually move it here. And that we are initializing in mouse down, setting the P1 in mouse down. We are setting P2 in mouse up and adding to the lines collection in mouse up and doing invalidate. After invalidate, it will go to paint. And in paint, we are getting all the lines and painting all of them. Now run this. Click move release. One line. Click one more line. One more line. Like this we are now getting multiple lines. Beautiful thing is, I just take it down, bring it up and the lines are still there. Why? Every time we are printing all the lines, even if I actually draw the last line, I am erasing all the lines and painting everything once again in paint event handler. Because for every line we are doing invalidate. But this may probably kill the performance, you see. After some time, it is giving flickering effect. Why? Because to draw one line, we are erasing all and painting all of them. It's an expensive affair. Not an advisable thing. So what is the better solution? I don't want to use invalidate here. Rather, the last line I'll draw here itself. But to draw here, I need a graphics object. In case of paint, we are getting graphics from paint event arcs. But how are we going to get graphics here? Let's see. If you want a graphics object outside paint, you have to use create graphics on the form. That is going to create a graphics for us. And once we have this graphics object, now can we draw a line? Intentionally I am putting, let's say blue. I know red is required, but intentionally I am putting blue ln dot p1 comma ln dot p2 and once we are done we should always dispose the graphics object we are creating the graphics we are using the graphics object and we are disposing the graphics object so click see right now there is no flickering even if i take it long enough it's not flickering why for the simple reason that 
every time we are drawing only one line so will these lines be remain retained after i minimize and maximize take it down bring it up the area which is invisible that will now get painted by the paint event handler and in paint event handler that part is painted using red color so you will see that part alone is in red color take it further down further down further down and see now again start painting so last line which we are painting is not giving us flickering effect because only one line and we are not erasing the old line flickering generally generally would come when when you erase draw erase draw erase draw erase draw very fast then you'll have flickering so this kind of things you'll have to do certain things you'll have to do outside paint event handler using create graphics we should get the graphics we should perform the drawing but what is important is only painting outside paint event handler will never serve the purpose for example imagine if i by chance do not have this for loop now what will happen here it will draw no doubt about it all the figures will come but once my figure is invisible and if i come back paint event handler has nothing to draw so it all it has become completely empty so this is the basic problem with not painting in paint event handler so painting has to be done in paint event handler additionally for optimization purpose we might paint outside without explicitly calling invalidate that is the learning here so you have a choice now actually the program is over but i want to extend it with one small feature i want to place here something like a button for saving the figure i want to save the complete figure how to save how to save the lines i want to save at the same time i want to load i want to load if it is there i want to save if it is i mean if the file is already existing from the file i'll load and when i click on save i want to save it in the file so let's go to save even start right click reset give proper name first btn save and let's say this is btn load now beautiful advantage here is list is a serializable object and now i'm going to make line also as serializable line is serializable list is serializable so can i simply serialize this lines we have learned this in io how to serialize we'll use binary formatter binary formatter and long name space system dot runtime dot serialization dot formatters dot binary simply select that so binary formatter is equal to new binary formatter and i'll use file stream for serializing which is in system dot io and give the file name b colon slash lines dot dat comma i'll give file mode dot create if the file is not existing it will be created if it is existing it will be opened then binary formatter dot serialize that's all what the lines complete lines will get saved in the file now write code for load what to do in load same code but instead of serialize we have to use deserialize obviously all this provided if file dot exists which file lines dot dat
and here I want to get lines. So this will go on the left hand side with list of line as the casting variable and this should be deserialize. Easy is right fresh binary formatter dot deserialize from file stream. Don't forget to close here file stream and as well as here otherwise we will get exception. So we are saving into the file and we are loading from the file of course if the file is existing. Deserialize will do what? Whatever lines are there, it will get us back. So now run the application. Draw the figures. You can get them actually in this format only. The right thing would be use same color everywhere. Just for demo, I intentionally used red color in paint and blue color in mouse up. Now save it. See, the whole line got saved. Close the form. Now here I forgot one thing. After load, we should write invalidate. Now run. Just say load. All the lines will be loaded into line object, lines collection. And with that painting will happen. Empty string. Something went wrong at the time of serialization. Serialization has lines collection. File stream lines dot that lines dot that lines dot that deserialize file stream dot close binary formatter dot let's try once again save it load it attempt to deserialize an empty string it's not deserializing it okay problem is this. I should write dot open because create will truncate the file content. If the file is already existing, that file truncate content will be truncated. Copy paste problem basically. Save it, close it, run again and say load it. Got it back. So like this, yeah, we can save our images, save our complete drawing using serialization. So actually we are not drawing, we are not saving these figures. We are saying the collection. Data is there in the collection. It is using the data, how you draw, that is what is important. And this is your first graphics application. And of course, on by now you should have understood how interactive drawing can be done and how we can improve upon graphics. This is just the beginning. Maybe need based you will have to explore. But ultimately what are we doing? Everywhere you see it's all graphics class story. Everything revolves around graphics class. The more knowledge you procure in graphics class, the better drawing you are going to make. Of course, you need to know mathematics. You need to understand the figures which are there. All that is mandatory. Now, finally, before I close graphics chapter, one small thing I would like to show you. I want to create an image programmatically. We can create an image through code. It can be bitmap, it can be jpg, anything. So how are we going to create an image programmatically? I told you for that we will have to create object of bitmap only because image class is abstract. So variable can be of type image but ultimately object must be of class bitmap. And here you have 12 overloaded versions. I want to create an image from scratch. So I'll give some initial width and initial height. I don't want to use any existing image and draw. Now to paint onto the image, we will have to get graphics object of bitmap now. Now how do we get graphics object of bitmap? In graphics class only, we have got from image, one method is there. In graphics class, we have from image to which we can pass the reference of the image, in our case B. Image is a parent class, so we can pass. And that reference returns to us graphics. So now, graphics G is equal to so and so. 
now once we got the graphics now if i do painting on this g remember it is actually going to paint on image so i will now simply go through that same for each line line in lines collection and this time g dot draw line pens dot red comma line dot p1 line dot p2 so where are we painting we are not painting on the form we are actually painting on the image after we are done with complete painting on the image we can say save as what do you want to save this as say i want to save this as slash lines dot whatever extension you want you can give let's say i want to save it as gif space system dot drawing dot imaging dot image format dot gif these are the different formats in which we can save a bitmap we want to save it as gif b dot dispose so what is this we are doing now double slash run i draw a image of course we have taken very small 100 100 only so we have to draw in the 100 100 region only in that region only we'll have to perform drawing right you can now say create image close it you can actually verify if that image is created or not lines dot gif d colon lines dot gif double click you see this image has come 100 by 100 pixels if you want that white background first paint a right white background color because i haven't painted anything black background has come so paint it with black background a uh, white background how to paint that simple g dot draw a uh, fill rectangle brushes dot white comma 0 comma 0 comma whatever is the width of the image and whatever is the height of the image and on that draw so let me change this we'll give it as little bigger one 500 pixels by 500 pixels so that we can draw like this of course we are painting with red color save it plus come back now open image has come so like this our figures can be saved as image but what is important what where we are drawing in graphics same thing we have to draw on image for which we have to use from graphics from image graphics object of the image we have to extract so just showing you the power we are able to programmatically with bare minimum code create a bitmap from our application so i leave you here with graphics a very very interesting topic but at the same time let me clarify one in thousand projects would actually need graphics api programming i would say you would be really lucky if you get an opportunity to program applications in graphics so much extensive most of the times what happens is whenever we need graphics we buy ready made components we have ready made components for drawing graphs bar graph pie graph chart all these ready made components are there which may make the life of the developer much easier but the person who has developed the component will have to do all the drawing the graph component will be simply responsible for taking input from some data source and doing the drawing so you have to get an opportunity in an organization which developed that graphics component which is a graph component and somebody else will simply use them so those kind of opportunities are less but yes it's a interesting topic i would want you to explore i want you to do the same things what i have done just for fun at least and to be different 
from routine working with controls. Anyhow, we are going to get back to working with controls after this topic. Thank you.